The Home Office is notorious for bringing illustrious careers to abrupt ends, but the pressures that exist behind its closed doors have never prompted a resignation quite like this. In the last 10 days, I have been the target of a vicious and orchestrated briefing campaign. It has been alleged that I have briefed the media against the Home Secretary. This, along with many other claims, is completely false. The Home Secretary categorically denied any involvement in this campaign to the Cabinet Office. I regret I do not believe her. An accusation that the Home Secretary had lied less than a week after a joint statement was issued on behalf of both Priti Patel and Sir Philip Rutnam, denying their working relationship had broken down. In his statement, Sir Philip also said that he had turned down a financial settlement offer from the Home Office and that he intends to take legal action for what he describes as constructive dismissal. If this were to end up in the courts, it could be deeply uncomfortable for the government. Not least because any tribunal would likely require scrutiny under oath of the complaint Sir Philip claimed he received about the Home Secretary shouting, swearing and belittling staff. No statement was issued by the Home Secretary today, but last week ministers entirely rejected claims she was a bully. Yes, she's demanding, but in that role, you have to be. But the extraordinary departure of the former Permanent Secretary has now prompted demands for a full investigation. This is a shocking level of breakdown at the very top of one of the most important government departments, which has to deal with rising violent crime or uh, important counter-terror work. And that's why I think it's so important that the Prime Minister and the Cabinet Secretary don't just let this drift. Cabinet Secretary Sir Mark Sedwell said he'd accepted Sir Philip's resignation with deep regret, but insisted the work of the Home Office would continue uninterrupted. But there will now be a keen focus on how the head of the civil service responds. Sir Philip uh, clearly thought that the issues were so grave that he needed to resign in this way, and he suggests in his letter that it was in part to protect other civil servants. I think there is now an urgent need for Sir Mark Sedwell, the Cabinet Secretary, to sit down with the Prime Minister and have a, a robust and very, very clear conversation about what's happened here. Trade union officials have claimed the resignation is linked to what they see as a confrontational campaign against the civil service, led by the Prime Minister's most senior adviser, Dominic Cummings. But there is no sign that Boris Johnson is doing anything other than standing by Mr Cummings and indeed the Home Secretary herself. Tom Rayner, Sky News, Westminster.